Catherine Called Birdie is the newest Amazon Prime film that I just saw, and I'll be honest with you guys, I don't want to review this movie. There, I said it. So, whenever I see a movie that just doesn't really move me emotionally, I'm done watching it. Let's just move on with my life and do other things, but I have a YouTube channel where I review movies, so let's talk about it. Hey guys, my name is Brandon, aka The Brando Critic, and I want to say thank you so much for being here, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I was able to see Catherine Called Birdie a little bit early, and I'm here to give you my honest, no BS, non-spoiler review for you today and tell you if Catherine Called Birdie is worth a watch. If you could tell from the intro, I think you know what the answer is going to be, but there's certain people who I do think will get something out of this movie, but we'll get into that. So like I say in every video, this is only my own personal personal opinion. So if you guys think differently, or if you think the same, let me know your thoughts of Catherine called birdie down in the comment section down below. Now let's begin. So we have Catherine called birdie from director Lena Dunham, and she has done movies like sharp stick, tiny furniture and creative nonfiction. I'll be honest. I haven't seen any of those movies. Haven't even heard of them until looking up Lena Dunham for this movie, but it stars Bella Ramsey, Billy Piper and Andrew Scott. So to start off, I want to say this, and this is my honest opinion, good movies can be enjoyed by anyone, even if they are outside of the target demographic. For example, I saw Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris this year, a movie about an old lady who wants a dress and she is all into fashion. I'm not that target demographic, but I really enjoyed that movie. And because of that, I go into absolutely every single movie with an open mind. I don't care what the movie is about, as long as it has interesting and likable characters, an intriguing and entertaining story, and it moves me emotionally in some way, shape, or form, I will watch a movie about anything. I want those three things. So that brings us to this film, Catherine Called Birdie. I am not this movie's target demographic. This movie is made for, I'm gonna say, girls who are nine to 16 years old and who are a little bit quirky. I'm gonna say that if you are in that target demographic, which I'm gonna assume that you're not because 86.13% of my viewers are actually men from 18 to 34. So I'm gonna assume that that's not you. But if you know someone who falls into that target demographic, I think that they will get something out of this movie. Unfortunately, I don't think this movie has anything to offer to people outside of the demographic. Case in point, this movie just wasn't made for me and I didn't really enjoy it that much. This movie definitely has a lot of humor in it. However, every time a joke was on screen or a joke was written or a joke was delivered, I said to myself, you know what? I do not find that funny, but I can definitely see a young girl aged nine to 16 would laugh at that. And just the basic story of Catherine Called Birdie is about Birdie, this young rebellious girl who wants to obviously rebel against the social norms of the time. She's gonna get married off because she's just turning 14. I've seen this story before in many forms of media and art. I've seen it before and there's nothing really new here. It's not bad. There's nothing insulting about this movie or this story or this premise. This movie just doesn't bring anything new to the table or extend outside of that target demographic. Now, like I just said, this movie isn't awful. This movie isn't bad. I wasn't like shaking my head on screen going like, oh my God, I can't believe what I'm watching. I'm just looking at it and going, this movie is not made for someone like me. And I will admit that the movie is more cute than funny. Of course, when they're introducing characters and especially a lot of the suitors wanting to marry Birdie, you see a lot of visual jokes like, oh, very ugly smells like armpits so like little jokes like that or when birdie gets her period she's like oh my god mummy this blood here came out of my bum my bum mummy my bum and i'm going Ugh. see like i can tell that certain people will find this funny but it's not necessarily clever humor it's just very targeted humor the target is over here and i'm over here i'm just being honest and the story and the message they're fine there's nothing wrong with this story Birdie, played by Bella Ramsey, who is quite excellent in the movie. I will admit that she gives a really great performance. She is mischievous. We've seen this character before. Her father wants her to be married off because she's becoming a woman. And of course he needs some money. He needs to make sure that the family is set financially. So let's marry her off to a wealthy man. And every suitor that she meets, even though a couple of them are actually pretty nice guys and pretty suitable suitors, she of course acts like an imbecile. She acts all dirty. She just ruins the relationship and the meeting right from the off. And of course the father gets mad at her, beats her with the stick on the hand. And this movie tackles the fact that yes, she is getting her very first period. So she's trying to hide it from her father because that means that she's turning into a woman. And that means she's gonna get married off. And of course she does the whole like, I'm a person. I get to choose who I want to love. You can't choose for me. I'm not property. We've seen this story many times before, but I will admit that I have said this in many videos also, that it doesn't matter what the story is necessarily, it's how you tell it. Because there are only so many stories you can tell 
but the way that you tell it makes it unique, makes it fresh, makes it interesting. And in my own view, they do not do that in this movie. Now, giving the film a little bit of credit here, Bella Ramsey does have a great performance in this movie. She is the main reason to watch this movie if you decide to do so. She's fantastic. She's a great protagonist, and I do think she's going to get a lot more work growing up. I know she was in Game of Thrones, but she's a great actor. Now, I got to address the elephant in the room that historians and, you know, some certain people on the internet, let's leave them nameless, will not like this film for obvious reasons. When you watch this movie, you will find out that, yes, this movie is definitely not historically accurate. To beat around the bush, certain people have certain positions, titles, and possessions that they wouldn't have had back in those times. That's the easiest way to put it. And of course you have modern songs in this movie as well. You have Alicia Keys covers, you have our main character's bedroom full of unicorns and it more looks like a medieval themed version of a girl's bedroom you might find at Ikea rather than like an actual girl's bedroom from back then. That stuff really doesn't bother me. Like, this is not a historically accurate costume drama. This is a movie about growing up and learning about your femininity made for girls who are 9 to 16 years old. This is like the Princess Diaries kind of a crowd movie. And simply put, I just do not think that this movie provides anything for people outside that demographic. I've said that many times, but that's really my main gripe with the movie. It's not bad. It just doesn't bring anything new or exciting or interesting to the table. So for an overall rating, I'm going to give this movie a 2 out of 5. Again, it's not terrible. It's not awful. It's not disgusting. It's not insulting. I just don't think that this movie is necessarily going to be one that would be liked by the entire family. Younger girls will like it enough, but I'm going to say that's about it. So those are my thoughts on Catherine Called Birdie. Whatever yours are, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let's get a discussion going between me and you. Also, I want to plug my Patreon. If you guys want to watch movies with me every single month, then the Patreon is down in the description box below. And for our secret phrase, let's go with Matthew Perry is the funniest actor on Friends. That's the secret phrase. Comment that down below so that I know that you've made it all the way to the end of the video. And of course, hit like if you like this video so that it can actually reach more people on YouTube. So thank you so much for doing that. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys again in the next one. Take care.